to dissuade cooperation with the government and to show that GIROA is ineffective. The insurgents control or can test a significant portion of the country, although it is difficult to, as to assess precisely how much due to a lack of ISF presence redaction. I guess that means, to me that means somebody, uh, the rest of that they didn't report, I don't know. I'll look it up later. Social and economic, I just want to get the, the, the basics of this. The QSD and other insurgent groups have deliberate social strategies that exacerbate the breakdown in Afghan social coercion. They empower radical mullahs to replace local leaders, undermine or eliminate local elders and mullahs who do not support them, and consistently support weaker, disenfranchised, or threatened tribes or groups. They erode traditional social structures and capitalize on vast unemployment by empowering the young and disenfranchised through cash payments, weapons, and prestige. Insurgent enablers and vulnerabilities. Criminal networks. Criminality creates a pool of manpower, resources, and capabilities for insurgents to contribute uh, and contributes to a per pervasive sense of insecurity among the people. Extensive smuggling diverts major revenue from GIROA. Criminality exacerbates the fragmentation of Afghan society and increases its susceptibility to insurgent penetration. A number of Afghan government officials at all levels are reported to be complicit in these activities further undermining GIROA's credibility. Narcotics and Financing The most significant aspect of the production and sale of opium and other narcotics is the corrosive and destabilizing impact on corruption within GIROA. Narcotics actively also funds insurgent groups, however, the importance of this funding must be understood within the overall context of insurgent financing, some of which comes from other sources. Insurgent groups also receive substantial income from foreign donors as well as from other criminal activi activities within Afghanistan, such as smuggling and kidnapping for ransom. Some insurgent groups tax the local population through checkpoints, demanding protection money and other methods. Eliminating insurgent access to narco profits, even if possible, and while disruptive, will not destroy their ability to operate so long as other funding, resources, uh, funding sources remain intact. Insurgent vulnerabilities. The insurgents have important and exploitable shortcomings. They are not invulnerable. Command and control frictions and divergent goals hamper insurgent planning and restrict coordination of operations. Insurgent excesses can alienate the people. Moreover, the core elements of the insurgency have previously held power in Afghanistan and failed. Popular enthusiasm for them appears limited, as does their ability to spread viability beyond Pashtun areas. GIROA and ISAF have an opportunity to exploit the insurgent's inability to mobilize public support. In summary, ISAF confronts a loose federation of insurgent groups that are sophisticated, organized, adaptive, determined, and nuanced across all lines of operations with many enablers but not without vulnerability. These groups are dangerous and if not effectively countered, could exhaust the coalition and prevent GIROA from being able to govern the state of Afghanistan. Crisis of Confidence in GIROA and ISF, ISAF Actions The Afghan government has made progress, yet serious problems remain. The people's lack of trust in their government results from two key factors. First, some GIROA officials have given preferential treatment to certain individuals, tribes, and groups, or worse, abused their power at the expense of the people. Second, the Afghan government has been able to, unable to provide sufficient security, justice, and basic services to the people. Well, through, the cap uh, through the capacity and integrity of some Afghan institutions have improved and the number of competent officials has grown, this progress has been insufficient to counter the issues that undermine legitimacy. These problems contribute to the Afghan government's inability to gain support of the Afghan population. ICF errors also compound the problem. GIROA State Weakness There is little connection between the central government and the local populations, particularly in rural areas. The top-down approach to developing government capacity has failed to provide services that reach local communities. GIROA has not developed the means to collect revenue and distribute resources. Sub-national officials vary in competency and capability, and most provincial and district governments are seriously undermanned and under-resourced. The Afghan government has not integrated or supported traditional community governance structures, historically an important component of Afghan civil society, leaving communities vulnerable to being undermined by insurgent groups and power brokers. The breakdown of social coercion at the community level has increased instability, made Afghans feel unsafe, and fueled the insurgency. Tolerance of Corruption and Abuse of Power Widespread corruption and abuse of power exacerbate the population's crisis of confidence in, their, in the government and reinforce a culture of impunity. 
Local Afghan communities are unable to hold local officials accountable through either direct elections or ju judicial process, especially when those individuals are protected by senior government officials. Further, the public perceives that ISAF is complicit in these matters and that there is no appetite or capacity either among the internationals or within GEI ROA to correct the situation. The resulting public anger and alienation undermine ISAF's ability to accomplish its mission. The QST's establishment of Obudsman to investigate abuse of power, I don't know what that means, O-M-B-U-D-S-M-A-N, to investigate abuse of power in its own regards and remove those found guilty capitalized on this GIROA weakness and attracts popular support for their shadow government. Afghan Power Brokers and Financial Leaders Some local and regional power brokers were allies early in the conflict and now help control their own areas. Many are current or former members of GIROA whose financial independence and loyal armed followers give them autonomy from GIROA, further hindering efforts to build a coherent Afghan state. In most cases, their interests are not aligned with either the interests of the Afghan people or GIROA, leading to conflicts that offer opportunities for insurgent groups to exploit. Finally, some of these power brokers hold positions in the ANSF, particularly in the AMP, and have been major agents of corruption and illicit trafficking. ISCF's relationship with these individuals can be problematic. Some are forces of stability in certain areas, but many others are polarizing and predatory. There are no clear lines separating insurgent groups, criminal networks, including the narcotics networks, and corrupt GIROA officials. Blind actors within GIROA support insurgent groups, directly support criminal criminal networks that are linked to insurgents and support corruption that helps feed the insurgency. ISAF shortcomings. Afghan social, political, economic, and cultural affairs are complex and poorly understood. ISAF does not sufficiently appreciate the dynamics in local communities, nor how the insurgency, corruption, incompetent officials, power brokers, and criminality all combine to affect the Afghan population. Focused by ISAF intelligence or kinetic targeting and a failure to bring to together what is known about the political and social realm have hindered ISAF's comprehension of the critical aspects of Afghan society. ISAF's attitudes and actions have reinforced the Afghan people's frustrations with the shortcomings of their government. Civilian casualties and collateral damage to homes, property resulting from an over-reliance on firepower and force protection, have severely damaged ISAF's legitimacy in the eyes of the Afghan people. Further poor unity of effort among ISAF, UNAMA, and the rest of the international community undermines their collective effectiveness, while failure to deliver on promises further alienates the people. Problematic contracting processes and insufficient oversight also reinforce the perception of corruption within ISAF and the international community. In summary, the absence of personal and economic security, along with the erosion of public confidence in the government and a perceived lack of respect for Afghan culture, pose a great, as great a challenge to ISAF's success as the insurgent threat. Protecting the population is more than preventing a certain violence and intimidation. It also means that ICF can no longer ignore or tactically accept abuse of power, corruption, or marginalization. External influences Pakistan Afghanistan's insurgency is clearly supported from Pakistan. Senior leaders of the major Afghan insurgent groups are based in Pakistan, are linked with Al-Qaeda and other violent extremist groups, and are reportedly aided by some elements of Pakistan's ISI. Al-Qaeda and Associated Movements, AQAM, based in Pakistan, channel foreign fighters, suicide bombers, and technical assistance into Afghanistan and offer ideological motivation, training, and financial support. Al-Qaeda's links with HQN have grown, suggesting that expanded HQN control could create a favorable environment for AQAM to reestablish safe havens in Afghanistan. Additionally, the ISAF mission in Afghanistan is reliant on ground supply routes through Pakistan that remain vulnerable to these threats. Stability in Pakistan is essential, not only in its own right, but also to enable progress in Afghanistan. While the existence of safe havens in Pakistan does not guarantee ISAF failure, Afghanistan does require Pakistani cooperation and action against violent militancy, particularly against those groups active in Afghanistan. Nonetheless, the insurgency in Afghanistan is predominantly Afghan. By defending the population, improving subnational governance, and giving disenfranchised rural communities a voice in their government, GIROA, with support from ISAF, can strengthen Afghanistan against both domestic and foreign insurgent penetration. Reintegrating communities and individuals into the political system can help reduce the insurgency's virulence to a point where it is no longer an ex existential threat to GIROA. India 
Indian political and economic influence is increasing in Afghanistan, including significant development efforts and financial investment. In addition, the current Afghan government is perceived by Islamabad to be pro-Indian.